counterintuitive scientist? Something that scientists love to do is put things into categories. Scientists will categorize things into living or non-living, ability to fly or walk, or the ability to walk on two legs or four. I'm sure you could think of many ways to put things into categories. Today, we're going to classify living things as plants or animals. I'm going to show you a picture of an ecosystem. There will be a variety of living things in the picture. Together, we will figure out if each is a plant or an animal. You ready? Great! Our first ecosystem is the rainforest. Rainforests have some of the greatest diversity of life on Earth. There are thousands of species of plants and animals. Remember, there are rainforests in South America, Africa, Asia, and Australia. <laughs> Look closely at the picture. Can you locate the different living things? That's right, a butterfly. That is an animal. Here is some bamboo. This is a plant. A panda's favorite plant, by the way. <laughs> this little fellow is a poison arrow frog. Stay away from these colors. He is an animal. Here is a banana tree. This goes in the plant category. Monkeys just love bananas. <laughs> this is a kapok tree. It is a plant. Look at the top of the tree. It's a macaw. A macaw is an animal. We'll put him over here. If you look closely, you'll see even more plants and animals in the rainforest. Let's move over to another ecosystem. This is a coral reef. The largest coral reef is off the coast of Australia. <laughs> it is called the Great Barrier Reef. Be careful when you look for plants and animals in the coral reef. It can be tough to figure it out sometimes. The clownfish. A good one. That is an animal. Clownfish live in anemones. Do you think an anemone is a plant or an animal? It is an animal. I know it doesn't really look like one, but it is. This seagrass, on the other hand, is a plant. It has a very important role to play. It filters out dirt, and it also provides food for many animals living here. Here is another curious inhabitant of the coral reef, a sea sponge. Now, the sea sponge is an animal. Even though it really doesn't look like an animal, it is. Therefore, it goes in the animal category. An octopus is a strange sea animal with eight legs, a beak, huge eyes, and the ability to change color. This is one unique animal. Coral reefs hold up to 25% of the ocean's animal life. That is pretty amazing. In contrast to the coral reef is the desert ecosystem. For animals and plants to live here, they must be strong. The desert ecosystem gets very little rainfall. Plants and animals have to adapt in order to survive. Can you separate the plants and animals in this habitat? The jackrabbit is an animal. The saguaro cactus is a plant. A very prickly plant, mind you. <laughs> it provides a home, food, and water to many desert animals. This next animal has one of the most known warning systems in the animal kingdom. One shake of its rattle can send chills up your spine. The rattlesnake is a stealthy hunter. One of his prey is the tiny kangaroo rat. This animal spends much of the day underground. He will look for food in the cooler night. Lastly, we have this tree. It is called a Joshua tree. It is a plant. One of the few in the desert that is not a cactus. Well, as you can see, there are many different plants and animals living in a variety of ecosystems all over the world. Today we looked at a rainforest, a coral reef, and a desert ecosystem. Take a look outside and see if you can classify the plants and animals in your neighborhood. Until next time, have a scientific day.